Hello everybody and welcome welcome back after this long ish break to um The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Episode Let's play. twenty two Yes, finally yes, I am back as well. Episode oh. twenty two finally makes its debut. Garage door opener, Ladyhood one back. And we are gonna be continuing with Great Bay today. Um Great Bay is a big area, there's a lot to do. There's lots of heart pieces to do as well, but we won't be getting so many of them today as um, you guys would probably want. If you guys would want, I mean... Yeah, I was going to say, you know, maybe they don't want to see the heart pieces. Maybe yeah. they're just interested in not the heart pieces. <laughs> the main quest. Are you having fun being a Zora? Yep. No. It's kind of twitching. Look at how fast my magic meter is going down. I should stop doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. kind of pointless. These it's blocks right here we'll be coming back to later after we finish the temple in the area because there's a there's a bit of a heart piece, an annoying heart piece to get there. So yes. Yeah. Anyway, when you reach this area, you will find all these boards covered here. Um, up above there's a Gerudo pirate fortress. I always called them Gerudos. Gerudo, Gerudo. I've always pronounced the J. Anyway, there's four, and we want to hit the second one from the left, but and that'll open up. <laughs> it's a G, but you know, like, like th there's. I don't anyway, the word, yeah. <laughs> we don't really need to talk about the pronunciation of uh, these sexy pirate fiends. Um. <laughs> yeah. So, um, just like Ocarina of Time, the pirates or the uh, what are they in Ocarina of Time? Thieves. Thieves. That's right. It's all female, just because, you know, they'd have to redo the sprites. Anyway, um, for the sake of what we're going to be doing, if you got the stone mask, like we did, um, these guys can't see you. There is one pirate that can see you, and that's their leader, but the rest of them can't see you as long as you have your stone mask on. So, um, while we're in this uh, situation, we're going to quickly snap a picture. Tattle wanted to be in a picture too. Yep. And it's really weird because some of them, like, th they they move like they can see you, but just nothing happens later on. I so always thought that like, was kind of cool though. Yeah. Maybe, but cool. So it's like, hmm, I guess you're not really worth their time at all, so. Or something like that, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I know on the ones on the inside, if you shoot them with arrows or chop at them, then they'll faint. I don't know about these ones on the boats, but I wouldn't try it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, the reason we're here, because um, we kind of do this game in the fastest way and not in the most, um, you know, show the way it's supposed to be done. Yeah. Um, like, actually, um, actually, it has been explained already. Uh, like Mikau said before he died, these pirates stole the eggs of the uh, one of the Zoras, the lead singer of the Indigo Goes. So we're here to get those eggs back. Though, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much we're, it. We're here to get the eggs back. So we're here to rob some eggs. And then, of course, if those bonefish ever come up, you can just kind of smoke them with your Zora shield. That takes up a lot of magic. Yeah. That's why we said, you know, earlier that this area is a big magic consumption area. The doubled magic meter definitely helps quite a bit here. So yes, here there's a bit of a maze. That's Pull out really that easy. block. <laughs> yeah. And then you gotta push this block forward. Um, if you were to go the uh, the other way and um, go through the rest of the maze, there's um. There's a chest in there, right there that has, I think it's five rupees in it. Yeah, it's kind of pointless. Yeah. So going up, uh, don't get in the way of these uh, dirty <laughs> things here because um, it'll take you outside the fortress back to where we originally were. And if you'll notice, when you're a Zora, you can kind of dolphin dive out of the water. Um, yeah, it's good. It's it would be good if you if you guys learn how to do that because it'll come in handy later. Uh. And don't run into walls like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so while we're here... Ooh. You almost fell. Almost, but luckily I saved myself. Woo! I don't know why I said woo when I was shifting through the menu, but... <laughs> I don't know. 
Anyway, there's a switch over here, which we're going to hit, which opens up this door. Which you might have noticed earlier had a heart piece behind it. Yes. Yay! You can use the bunny hood or you can go on roll. It doesn't really matter. But either way, just get that heart piece. I'd say it's easier with the bunny hood because, you know, the Goron roll is kind of questionable sometimes. Yeah. Well, if you're really good at Goron rolling, you can Goron roll. But if, if you're not, then definitely, bunny definitely go bunny hood because you can at least control what you're doing a little more. <laughs> Way to land in the bomb! And the other one! Uh, that <laughs> oh, is this unfortunate. Is gonna, this could be great. This is just like those uh, snowballs falling into <laughs> Except no, this yeah. time you're landing in the bombs. Well, you know, the bombs are a trap set by the pirates, so... Yeah. I don't feel so bad. The pirates are pretty smart. It's like they knew that there was probably going to be a Zora or somebody. <laughs> Oh yeah. Why else would they have all of that? Okay, this next part here can be done in um, a split motion, but I'm going to do it all together just because I'm awesome that way. Oh yeah? Um, when you're riding this up, there's a ladder, which you can um, get some uh, other stuff, but I'm just going to do this right off the top. So um, if, if you don't um, time it right to do it while you're on the water, there's a ladder up there and then you can up there. There's a telescope where you can see into the fortress itself, but we're going to show you that in a second, so it doesn't really matter. I love the bunny head. <laughs> I do too. It's like you can run so fast. Well, I guess that was kind of the point of the bunny Yeah, <laughs> my silence <laughs> spoke volumes there. <laughs> I was like, yeah. it, well, well, yes, Matt. <laughs> so, this is the pirate fortress. Um, it's, you know, quite hell to go through, but um, we're going to... Make it really easy. We're going to stone mask this. We have to come back. Right now we're not fully equipped to um, take out this place in one thing, so we'll just, you know, cut up some bitches right here and then we can go. Yeah, Link, he likes to cut a bitch. Oh yeah. He's gangster that way. I love way. the sound effects they make. Anyway, if you don't have the stone mask, there are boxes, and you can um, hit these uh, pirates with arrows. Um, they do come up after um, a couple seconds, so be wary of that. But, uh, yeah. So, see, you just kind of cut her up, and then just wait for her to come back. Give her, like, you can see stars 10 seconds, head, and yeah. she'll pop up or so. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fast. That's why you gotta... <laughs> I wish I could get up that fast. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't even use, like, any arm movements or anything. It was, like, direct, horizontal to vertical. Yeah. So, one little thing that I actually learned from my partner here is Ooh. that you can... You can see a beehive through the, um... Through the door there that you have to hit as you see through this the bee bars, going yeah. through. And you can skip this cutscene. But just for the sake of doing this, we're actually gonna watch this cutscene because it's 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 very relevant to the plot of this yeah. entire place and if you didn't have it then you kind of wouldn't know yeah yes but just so you know if you are an experienced experienced majora's mask player you can skip this whole segment by shooting it yeah. through the first one so basically what these pirates are going over is that they don't have all the zora eggs and they're looking for the rest of them and well yeah they were attacked by sea snakes, so, yeah, murky waters, so basically that's where the rest of the eggs are. The eggs are split between this pirate fortress and an area called the Deep Sea Well, so, well, which, which is more, more called Pinnacle Rock. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't it called Pinnacle Rock? Yeah, well, the Deep Sea Well is that part, but Pinnacle yeah. Rock is, is the name of the formation around. Okay, so Dragon Cloud. This isn't really explained in any detail. It's just some name. Yeah, I'm not too sure why that's in red, to be honest, because it's never really mentioned again. Yeah. The Dragon Cloud, from what I can assume, is the name of the storm that surrounds the temple. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So anyway, this room here is full of pirates. And um, there's actually something in there we need. And there's a Zora egg right there. Um, this room down there is the only room in this pirate fortress where the pirates can see you if you have the stone mask on. Other than the ones that attack you later on. So, anyway, you just shoot down the hive. 
the room gets cleared out because of the bees. And it's then the, the bees room empty. knees. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I, just, I just wanted to, um, you know, put something really lame there. Uh, uh, shout out to my one of my good friends who uh, says that lots. <laughs> you know, you know who you are. Just I saying. don't. I don't even know this person. No, nope, you don't. So, now that this room is empty, we can bust up their barrels, and we have a chest here, which contains a very, very important item to us. Which is always important in almost every Zelda game. It may be called other things, but in this one, it's called the hookshot! Gee, I wonder what a hookshot does. <laughs> yeah, and it's solid gold. So we're actually going to be using this right away, because we need to get up here. Oh, he thinks he can attack me. Oh, he will. So, you can get on top of the tank, uh, switch to your Zora mask, um, get, a bottle, get a bottle ready, and then dive. Uh, sink down to the bottom. I'm gonna actually kill this thing because I. Uh, you should just ignore him. No, I wanna kill him. There we go. Oh, gee. Those things are extremely easy to kill as a Zora compared to Link because. His fins kind of slide directly in the hole where it opens. Oh, you're right. Oh, crap. Yeah, that might be a little bit inconvenient. <laughs> okay, so, just jamming out here. Hmm. Oops. Well, I think I'm going to have to shift the order in which I'm going to do things do now. Do some things, yeah. Yes. Because we kind of forgot an important thing. <laughs> yeah. Oops. So anyway, um, now that we have one egg, we are no longer needed here, so let's... Just play the song. Okay. <laughs> I, I know you like jamming jam Zora, our, but... Yeah. Um... He's a rock star, he's gotta do it sometime. Anyway, we're gonna go back to Great Bay Coast now. Because... Yeah, we need to get this egg out of our bottle. Yeah, we haven't actually been to... Well, we have been out here, but we've never actually been in the building yet, yeah. but, uh... So, up here, if you recognize this scene here, this is, um... You can play on this stage in, uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Great Bay Coast, you can see the coast. There's some spoiler stuff in the background, which I'm not gonna say, but... Spoiler alert! <laughs> yeah, basically the moon falls. This old guy, apparently, is your, uh... Is a lab guy. So, in order to deposit eggs into this tank, which is where we need to put the eggs, by the way, because we didn't talk to him, so no one would know that, yeah. you have to stand as close as you can to the middle of the tank and then just drop the eggs in. And then they'll just kind of drop wherever. If you were, like, a hair off the center, you'll just kind of hold it above your head and, like, wonder this why you're This item doesn't eggs. work here. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. So, so yeah, you know, kind of sucks. So, um... <laughs> Now that we've got one egg in, we are actually not going to go back to the pirate fortress right away. We are going to take a stop off to these two buildings over here. Because both of them have important things that we need in them. Dun 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 And our first stop is this one right here. There was a reason why we took a picture of the Gerudo pirate. Yeah. So, this guy's a fisherman, we can speak to him, but it won't do any good. So let's speak to this seahorse. And he sees the seahorse, you know, he's better at catching seahorses than the Zoras. So. I guess he felt like talking to you anyway. Yeah. Oops. Okay, let's try this again. There, there we, go. we go. Help me, help me. Are you interested in that fish? It's a rare fish called a seahorse. So he found it around Pinnacle Rock. It's rare. He's gonna sell it to the festival, something like that. So we need a picture of a female pirate. Luckily, we happen to have one of those because Link is just, you know that. That's we even handy. have Tattle in that picture. <laughs> Two for the price of one. So uh, we give um, him that, and he gives us the seahorse. So, yeah. So. Now we gotta take him back to Pinnacle Rock. Which we won't be doing actually, yeah, because we have, we have something right important to do um, right now. This second building here is the Swamp Spider House. Um, you get a very good prize from completing it. On the first day. On the first day, but you have to finish 
you have to finish collecting all the tokens, all 30 of them, before the end of the first day. So, before the end of, yeah, before the end of the first day. Otherwise, the guy just gives you 50 rupees instead. So, uh, on the next episode of uh, Let's Play Majora's Mask, we will be taking down the Swamp Spider House and um, exploring all of its darkness and, um, and uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you guys next time.